Here's the most common question financial advisors get asked. How much do I need to retire? G'day, Brendan Murray from Halcyon Private Wealth, bringing you the second edition of our series, Simple Certainty. Good to have your company. So how much do you really need to retire? Well, I'm going to take you through a case study in a moment. But first, having the retirement you want doesn't happen by accident. It takes planning and effort. So the fact that you're asking this question is a step in the right direction. As you no doubt know, the answer isn't the same for everybody. It really does depend on your circumstances. You'll be glad to hear, however, that most people think they need more than they actually do. And to work out the amount you need to have saved before 5 p.m. on your last day at the office, Ask yourself these questions. At what age do I want to retire? What type of lifestyle do I want to have? In other words, do you want an annual holiday? Or perhaps a holiday every two years? How often do you plan on upgrading the car? And what hobbies will you have? And how much will that golf membership run you? Also consider other financial plans. Do you want to be able to help the kids? Do you want to be able to donate to charity? All of these considerations come back to your goals, needs, and objectives. By working through these questions, you can drill into specifics of your retirement needs. One of the best ways to get your head around the major factors involved is by looking at a case study. So let's look at that now. Here are the assumptions. We have a couple retiring at 60 years of age. During their retirement years, they expect to have living expenses totaling $100,000 per annum, indexed to CPI, an annual holiday for 10 years up to age 70 at a cost of $25,000 each year, CPI indexed. An update to the car after 10 years at age 70 at a cost of $50,000 in today's dollars. Retirement savings held within superannuation with a net earning rate of 7% per annum. For this lifestyle, our hypothetical couple would need $2.1 million saved at age 60, which would see them through to the average life expectancy of age 87 plus a further five years. While this example doesn't cater for a monetary inheritance for the kids, keep in mind that this couple would still have the family home to pass on to their children. If you want to know how much you need to retire on, think about the factors included in this case study and provide your own answers. Once you've figured out what you want your retirement to look like, it's then time to look at your current situation with a financial planner to see if you're on the right track. That's it for the second edition of Simple Certainty. Feel free to like, share or comment and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future instalments. I'll see you next time when I answer the question, is financial advice worth it? Please note, this is general information only and you should always seek your own personal advice.